Hi, folks, Max from GalaxyS5Root.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to root your AT&T or Verizon Galaxy S5. Um, it is pretty simple to do, so let me go ahead and show you. Um, let me. Uh, this is going to work um, if you have Android 4.4.2. Make sure you have Android 4.4.2. Uh, go to TowelRoot.com. All right, and just click on this. Uh, I think this is a alpha. Uh, icon there. Go ahead and download the APK file. Um, try to open the file. All right. If it says it's blocked, um, go to unknown sources here. Make sure unknown sources is checked on. Hit OK. Install and install anyways. All right. And go ahead and hit open and hit make it rain button here. And this will do its work and it will root your Galaxy S5. Now, this method is also great because it does not trip your uh, Nox um, as it's an actual exploit. It doesn't use uh, the recovery partition. Um, so, this is very good news. We'll have a ton of new ROMs for the Galaxy S5. And I, I thought it was going to take actually longer, but uh, finally, uh, someone figured it out. And don't forget to donate to uh, the Towel Root guys because these guys deserve it. Um, there's a donate button also on the site, um, so definitely donate if you feel like um, this has freed up your phone, obviously. And then next, make sure you go ahead and download the latest version of um, Super SU. Hold on a second. Next, go ahead and go to the Play Store and download uh, the free app Super SU, um, and this will allow you to actually use Root. Um, there we go. Once it's installed. If you open it, if you don't get any errors, that means your phone has been completely rooted. I might ask you to update the binary, say continue, and hit normal. All right, and also you you should remove Nox because it's going to interfere. So make sure you hit OK with the Nox, disabling Nox. And uh, even though it said it failed, but it should have worked. Let's see if it worked. Super SU. Oh, let's try that again. Um, there we go. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not gonna interfere too much with it. Uh, you should still have root, and uh, you can you go ahead and use a twerp method later. Um, let's go ahead and download Titanium Backup here, and if this shows the super user window, uh, then that means your phone has been completely rooted. So pretty simple stuff. Just go to uh, Tile Root, and uh, that's pretty much it. There we go. So your phone has been fully rooted, all right, and you should be all good to go. Um, and uh, you should, there should be safe strap coming out for Galaxy S5, which means you should be able to install custom ROMs and stuff. Um, that's about it. Enjoy your AT&T Galaxy S5 or Verizon Galaxy S5 with root now. Uh, and uh, yeah, as always, if you have a Galaxy S5, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys5root.com. And I will see you guys soon. I stay high on Android.